Hi everyone, this is Sinead, and in this video I would like to continue uh, my process uh, in relation to my experiences with sleeping. Now I've already done two posts in my Practical Destiny blog. I'll also provide the links in the description box below. In this video, uh, this being a continuation of the previous two posts, in this video, I'd like to share uh, the point of how, you know, in, in my mind, I, I always believe that I have to be tired, like genuinely tired, and that that tiredness was my, my reference for you know, going to sleep at night. And where I'd some evenings uh, face the, the mental and physical experience of, of, of really just not being tired at all. And there being no particular reason for it, you know, I was I was really I was just awake and alert. Um, where in my previous post, you know, shared the experience of, you know, initially judging myself for it, thinking about it a lot, you know, becoming emotional, and how I worked through that that process. But at the same time, it it opens up the dimension of you know limiting your relationship to sleep. And rest based purely on tiredness. Um, so what I also challenged within myself was going to sleep and, and resting um, by choice, you know, by a decision that I make within myself where I, I could feel obviously, you know, a, a slight tiredness um, because of having, you know, walked a, a full day, uh, being busy, you know, working, active, but again, you know, not that familiar tiredness of you know, really wanting to put your head on that pillow and, you know, snuggle into the blankets and then close your eyes and there you're off to sleep. And so what I'd also, um, you know, challenged within myself was that in the evenings, you know, the time where I'd usually go to bed and, and I'm not tired in any way, that... I would still get into bed and just close my eyes and, and breathe and do some self-forgiveness. And, you know, just, it was interesting because in that experience of just closing my eyes, breathing, being with myself, doing some self-forgiveness, it like, the experience that I had was just, you know, very gently being, almost being rocked inside myself. You know, as though, you know, when, when you were a baby and you were held, you know, and you were gently like rocked. And it's like the, the self-forgiveness at, at the same time, you know, the sound that I would use with the self-forgiveness would also be equally gentle, soft, soothing voice. And it's like, it, it literally creates that sensation of slowly but surely rocking yourself to sleep you know, with your own voice, with your own experience within yourself. And then, um, you know, eventually I, I would drift off into a very nice deep sleep. Um, other times it, it didn't necessarily work um, where I'd be in bed and I'd be breathing and slowing down and doing my forgiveness, but I would still be awake. And then again, you know, instead of thinking about it and becoming emotional or giving my mind the opportunity to go all over the place, um, you know, that's also what tends to happen at night, <laughs> where the mind can become really active. Um, I would then just decide to do some writing, um, get to um, some more work, you know, get some things done. And even if I had only a little sleep, you know, that night, the next day I would be tired, but again, not not that much and I would also maybe take an afternoon nap very much depend on dependent on how my day was going how how active uh, I'd have to be um, you know how much work needed to get done things like that um, but again what was fascinating within this was you know when when I wasn't like thinking or emotional or stressed you know at night um, and you know just being gentle with myself, being comfortable, putting in some work or just doing breathing and forgiveness that, 
you know, the next day I was, I was quite stable, you know, quite awake and alert. So what I'd like everyone to take with you for this video is into have a look for look out for those evenings where you're you're not particularly tired there's no particular reason for it um to decide you know do you want to just maybe get into bed and just breathe and do some self-forgiveness in, in a very gentle soft soothing voice or you know stay awake for an hour or two more and you know get some more work done catch up on some reading or or writing but you know within that then you know remaining stable remaining calm remaining clear not becoming um, emotional or stressed or anything because of not being able to sleep or you know about the or worrying or becoming anxious about the next day you know um, what, what 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 stood out for me and what was important was not going into that emotional stress and strain the, in the evening and you might find you know the next day you'll, you'll actually be quite okay with having less hours and you see if you can fit in a, a like 40 minute nap for example um, but I mean even if you can't you'll still find you'll be relatively stable you'll be able to make it through the day all right so these are the main points that I wanted to expand on in this video based on my previous two posts and in the next video or even in the next post um, I will continue expanding on the evenings where you know why you can't sleep <laughs> where the thoughts and emotions are like all over the place and you're in a massive amount of, of stress and anxiety and, and emotions about things it's uh, bothering you within yourself and and your life and um, some practical ways uh, that has supported me when I face such evenings. All right, thank you very much.